Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Now, if you are subscribed and you follow what I do recently, you know that I did a video on this first version of the Dog Alien from Alien 3 by NECA. This was the first one they did. I really enjoyed shooting that video, it was a lot of fun. I fell in love with the figure all over again. I started getting curious about the ultimate version, which came later. So I started watching some videos and I found it quite difficult to find a good comparison between this first version, which so many people own, including myself, and the ultimate version, which, like myself, a lot of people probably skipped on because they already had the first one. So I'm going to do a little review on the ultimate one here for you, but also slash comparison video with the older original one. So drop a like on it for me, that's important, it'll help more people find the video. I've also recently made an alien video playlist on my channel. It's got a lot of content on there from over the years, 17 years reviewing stuff. Hell of a lot of alien predator content on the channel. So you've got playlists for all that stuff. So subscribe if you haven't done already and enjoy the video. I don't have my original packaging for the first version they made anymore, but I did like it. I remember loving the pose he was in within the packaging. It's like he was asleep, kind of curled up in a little ball. And I remember thinking I kind of wanted two, one to leave in the package because it looks so cool and one to play with. <laughs> but the packaging with the ultimate version has the classic poster, which I love. And he comes with the miniature logo with the queen there curled up. Pretty nice paint job on that. And it also comes with the queen chest burster. And they are completely different as far as paintwork goes, and the dome as well. More brown with the ultimate on the left, which I do like, but I do also love that more kind of almost Giger-esque, big chap-like kind of in comparison now that I've seen this new one. I just I think there's something quite Giger-like about the original, the way it looks. But the Dog Alien by Necker has always been one of their absolute best seen and more figures. And I really wish they had made this one in quarter scale because they did with the big chap and the Alien Warrior from the second film. They still could surprise us with it one day, but it would be an incredible figure. Now, the domes, the original one, I almost kind of prefer the original one because it just seems a little bit more natural as it fades into the dark, whereas this is very obvious, you know, that it's kind of painted to look like that. It is nice looking, but I just think this looks more realistic on the original figure. Well, as far as the sculpt work goes for the actual head itself and the mouth area, it does seem to be identical. Again, the original just looks better to me. I might try and pick up another one of these at some point and just keep it in the packaging because I really like it. And I didn't see anywhere near as many breakages as I did when I was doing the research deciding recently whether to get the ultimate here. I saw a lot of people with broken arms because mine were very stiff. Their legs are quite loose but the arms, especially the elbow, were extremely stiff and I had to run them under hot water to loosen them up and that definitely helped. So I would advise doing that with this particular figure because a lot of people, you know, ended up with broken dog aliens. The ultimate version anyway. And with the jaws open and the inner mouth coming out there, there's not much of a difference there. They both seem to share the equal level of attention to detail when it comes to the paint job of the inner mouth.
pose wise I'm having no issues with the new ultimate version not that it's new it's been out for a while a good while but um, it's new to me <laughs> this has always been my dog right here and he still poses absolutely perfectly really excellent first release but if you want your dog alien a bit more brown with a dome that looks a bit more like this then that's the one you go for I don't really care about the extras too much it's nice to have them but with this particular release they just don't really do much for me it is nice to have a chestburster queen never had that before so but yeah, they both pose very well and they're a lot of fun to work with as well just be careful like I say with this new ultimate one definitely if you've got stiff joints don't force it you'll snap them use some hot water and loosen them up and get them get them good and loose <laughs> and then he'll be fine I think it would be cool if NECA also did a version of the dog alien when it was obviously a guy in a suit in certain scenes in the film it was Tom Woodruff Jr. he is often in the suit when it came to these movies as the xenomorph but it's a very different look the arms are shorter they're not as thin and there's quite a few scenes in the film where it is Tom in the suit so like maybe if NECA could do this version of the dog alien obviously it wouldn't be as animal like as what we saw when it was like a rod puppet in the film you can get a lot more creature like with it you know, obviously those arms are completely different than what we see when Tom's wearing the suit that's a classic image as well I remember that a lot when I was younger and I'm pretty sure that's Tom again in the suit there but it just has a completely different look body wise that would be a really cool figure to have by NECA as well as this version but the nice thing about having two is I love the way the figure looks when it's upright, standing really tall. And I also love it when it's more dog-like like this, or ox-like, depending on which version of the film you've seen. Because some people, like my girlfriend, didn't know uh, that there is an alternative version where it comes out of an ox instead of a dog. So, yep. Yeah, it's interesting. It takes on characteristics of its host. But now that I have two, I'm going to have one standing up on the shelf really tall and the other one crawling, keeping it low, hunt style. He's on the scent. There's another cool image with the suit on the set. As far as the colour, this is quite washed out at the moment, especially the chest area. But, I mean, either way, I think I do prefer the overall paint job, just the colour tone of the original, the first release. But at the same time, I do really like this more brown version as well. Kind of almost reminds me more of the Rod Puppet scenes. Which there are quite a few of. Especially when he's running around the walls and ceilings. And having a quick feed on one of the prisoners. But yeah. Glad I've seen both. It is interesting. Very different appearances. Just all down to the paint. See, there's another behind the scenes shot in the suit. Look at those legs. Those are not those legs. <laughs> no, sir. Damn, some human legs. And some big chap legs. And some alien warrior legs right there. Yeah. They might have just been. That might. Those look a bit crude for some reason. They're probably just using it to get the lighting right or just get an idea of the shot. Who knows? Haven't seen that shop before. I used to have, because uh, the old comic book shop, the one time that I had one near where I lived, very hard to find one of those in the UK, especially these days. But there was one locally in the early 90s for me. And I used to collect the Alien 3 cards. And there were some really great pictures. I don't know what happened to those. I kept a lot of that stuff. But as far as the Alien 3 cards go, I, I just must have, I don't know. They just up and left. But they had some really cool images on those. And I remember collecting the Alien 3 comics, which I still have. It was a three-part 
comic series, Dark Horse Comics. Good times. I like Alien 3, damn it. I really do. I rewatched it again recently with a girlfriend and we really enjoyed it. And then watched Alien Resurrection straight away afterwards and that put it in perspective, really. I mean, we enjoyed Alien Resurrection. It's kind of just a fun Alien movie. But Alien 3 is, you know, I, yeah, I've seen people saying like it's a misunderstood masterpiece and I wouldn't really argue with that. I mean, Sigourney Weaver was incredible. Uh, the guy who played, ah, oh, damn it, is it Dylan? The guy with the glasses who fights the alien in the tunnel before they pull the lead. He's a legend. Ah, oh, and the guy who uh, Ripley sleeps with, I forget his name, Charles Dance, or is that someone else? I forget. Terrible. I'm getting older. But he was brilliant as well. They were all good. The annoying uh, warden, whatever, from American Wealth in London and Bottom. There's loads of familiar faces and recognise more people having just watched it recently after quite a few years. But yeah, best score, like one of the best scores to a film, really haunting, memorable music. And yep, some of the rod puppet work is a bit crude looking, but you still feel that sense of terror at this particular alien in that setting with no weapons and the way it could move. And it was just terrifying one of the scariest aliens ever i really like alien 3 it's my third favorite alien movie first one's number one second one pretty much tied with number one but you know that's the big debate alien or aliens it's too hard man i can't decide i love them both but alien 3 in third place definitely i think it's great i want to show you guys something you probably already know about but um, Toys210 on YouTube, he did a great mod on the dog alien so he could put the head and when it's on all fours, have it more upright, Look, it's really looking forward. That's a great video, check out that, that's Toys210, he's an OG guy who's been around for uh, about as long as I have, just crazy amounts of time, just like three years I think it is, I don't know, I'm terrible don't really keep track but I think it's three years until the 20 year anniversary of this channel that is insane 20 years it feels like yesterday I was talking about the 10 year anniversary nuts but yeah I've just been making playlists recently folks so I'm trying to make it easier for you to find the, uh, the kind of content you're after on the channel got custom head sculpt playlist uh, alien playlist predator playlist you got to make a Batman Begins playlist because there's plenty of those videos on the channel. But all kinds of stuff. Absolutely beautiful specimen. They just take up a lot of space when they're on all fours. That's the only thing that takes a fair bit of real estate. But worth it. Just a beautiful design. I remember reading many, many years ago that the lips were based on Michelle Pfeiffer. That's a true story. I don't know if it's actually true, but it's a true story that I heard about it and read about it in, I don't know, some magazine or maybe the back of one of those cards I collected. But Giger, I believe, helped with the design. I'd have to go back and rewatch all the documentaries, but you can see it, whether it's true or not. When I look at the design of the creature, it does really have the Giger DNA in there. been hovering over the Queen by Necker, hovering over it on eBay. It's quite a reasonable price in the UK. I used to own it and I guess I got a bit fed up at the time. I remember I sold a bunch of alien stuff in bulk. All the Marines and a whole bunch. Alien warriors getting blown apart and all kinds of cool stuff. But you know, I did sell a lot of alien Necker figures. And I still have a lot. But I have been missing the Queen. Because it was a very, very true recreation in figure form of the Queen from the second movie. It was fantastic. So I have been missing it a little bit lately. Okay, folks. Well, that's pretty much it from me. I would give the ultimate version here a 10 out of 10. Beautiful piece. Always has been. But it's got a really nice paint job now on the dome. 
It is a very nice smooth transition from the darkness into the light brown into the foggy misty dome. And you can start to see the skull there. It is all very very nicely done. The original, you know, it's no slouch. I really like it. Always have. And I do really, really like the color tone of it. But I also really like this more brown tone over here. So I'm curious to know what you guys think out there. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Which one do you prefer? If I had to, you know, suggest to someone just one of these to get, then I would... Well, if you're not too fussed about those extra bits, uh, you do get a stand, by the way. That's actually in the box. Um, but it's a stand pretty much like uh, this one. Where is it? That one there. I think that's one of them. It's not the strongest plastic. I did break the other one. I think the one that came with this original broke quite easily. But I would say whichever one you can find, and obviously watch out for the fake ones. I don't know if there's many fake dog aliens, but there certainly is when it comes to the Alien Covenant alien xenomorph, which I'm really trying to get hold of, but I can't find a genuine one. Um, and some other ones as well. Very hard to get the Alien Resurrection alien by Necrom after that, but can't get it. Um, not in the UK anyway. Found one guy in America who had it in New York, but he wouldn't ship to the UK. It's like, damn it, I need that beast. But I guess ultimately, no pun intended, but the ultimate version, you know, the most recent release is probably your best bet if you're just going to get one. Just watch out for the stiff joints out of the box. Make sure you run them under a hot tap. Loosen them up before you start trying to pose them. You should be fine. But the original is also just as fantastic. It's really down to preference and, you know, the color of the the beast, really. I like, very much like having both now, because I can pose one standing up and one crawling. So I'm going to have some fun with them. But yeah, both 10 out of 10 figures, really. Some of NECA's best work. So, yeah, let me know what you're thinking, folks. Always good to hear from you. Drop a like on the video for me. Helps more people find the channel. And I'll see you soon. I have the NECA Predator from Prey coming very soon to review. And I'm looking forward to that very much. And some other stuff coming to the channel. I'll bring you more videos. Alright. See you soon. Take it easy. Bye-bye.